Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mindy in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the meat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. I was thinking, you know, when it comes to beautiful chemical constituents, so essential oils are defined as volatile aromatic compounds. And what that means is that if I were to open up a bottle right now, and ridiculous that I don't have one in front of me right this second to demonstrate <laughs> this, I think, um, to just pretend like I'm un uncapping a bottle, um, those volatile constituents, because they're so delicate, is that they evaporate into the air. So if you had walked into the room the minute that I opened a bottle of tangerine essential oil or grapefruit essential oil, that aroma, those molecules are going to peripherate because it's room temperature in here. And you'll probably smell it the second you hit the room. If I had had that bottle open for about a minute, that's right. just going to happen. And so those, those volatile chemicals, they go straight into the, into the mitral cells of our olfactory bulb, which is cranial nerve number one. And what we know about our sense of smell, it's just talking about one of the three ways to use them aromatic is that our sense of smell is literally directly connected to our limbic system, our reptilian brain, our fight or flight, stranger danger brain, because our sense of smell is connected to sur survival. Like yeah. we can smell, I can smell a poopy diaper from a mile away now. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like I can, I can smell a fire. I walked by a house today. I could kind of smell some natural gas. Like I'm like, huh, what's that? And so we're, we're, we're tuned to picking those things up. Your amygdala is like, is that something I need to be worried about? And mm. so the same thing, when we breathe in an essential oil, it connects to, it binds to those mitral cells, the receptor sites there, shoots straight into the limbic system. And those chemical constituents can have a profound impact by binding to receptor sites on the amygdala, the hippocampus, and especially the hypothalamus. Mm. And so we can actually modulate the way that we mm. respond to a stressor or to a circumstance based on using um, these chemical constituents. If, if I'm having a stressed moment, I can just <laughs> breathe a, a, an essential oil and it'll, it'll switch me out of that fight or flight brain. Yes. Yeah, specific essential oil. Some are going to, some I'm not, I've never really seen an oil activate, like over activate a stress response mode or an anxiety mode.